Hey guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Now today I want to capitalize on the technique versus feeling video I did and just show you guys a quick example of how to implement that in your own game. I went over how to, you know, the three step process, learn the technique, make it look good on camera, then get your own feeling. Now I'm going to show you a, very, a live example of what that means. Now one of the biggest changes I ever made in my career was to get my hands out in front of my body because I was a big shoulder turn guy trying to get a lot of bat speed, that stuff. And when I got the hands out in front, it made a huge change in my game. So what I did when I was trying to learn this, this technique was, okay, m learn the technique first. Hands are in front of my body, and then I go straight to the ball. That's the technique. So what I did was I looked at it on camera. So this is kind of what it looked like. I'll mess it up a little bit for you guys at home. When I checked myself out on camera, I would see this. and I would see my hands disappear back behind my, my head and behind that toe line. Oh, got my ball back. Okay, now I know I hit that ball pretty good that's because I'm awesome at baseball, but that's besides, that's besides the point. So what I do is like say, okay, that's uh, my hands were behind my, my body on that one. So the next one I'd say, okay, I'm gonna over exaggerate a little bit and really hold my hands out here, hold them in front and then throw them from that position. and really started to hit some, hit some good shots. So then I looked at myself on camera there and say, okay, my hands were in front and they got thrown from the right position. And now I start to develop my own feeling for what that is. And my feeling for that was keep my shoulders square towards center field. And now my shoulders didn't stay square, they get a slight load, which they're supposed to. But my feeling, my own feeling to make sure this technique was right was to keep my shoulders square towards center field and I felt like they stayed right here and that kept my hands nice and in front of my body. And I was able to really start to perfect that technique and I got better every single day. Now guys, if you haven't seen the technique versus feeling video, go ahead and check that out right here. And if you wanna learn some more great technique to start to get you on your way to get into a better, more perfect swing, check out the power hitting series right here. It's an absolutely free power hitting series where you can you know, it's got great bat lag, hip shoulder separation to show you the perfect techniques to where you can start developing your own feelings. And I'll actually play a preview at the end of this video so you can check it out. You can click on that link in the preview or in the description below. Check that out. Let me know what you think, Scott, or let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the video, all that great stuff. Uh, good luck with your games, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, I'm Michael Durr with Pro Speed Baseball, and I'm gonna show you how to get home run power with proper separation. So what we're going to talk about separation and what that actually means in the baseball swing. Separation is going to be how far we can get our hips away from our shoulders. So if my hips are open and my shoulders are closed, this is separation. Now the more that we can do this, the more speed we can deliver into the baseball by creating a sling.